Have you ever wondered if there's more to life than meets the eye, hidden beneath the surface, waiting to be discovered? What if I told you that there are 12 universal laws governing our lives, laws that can unlock the secrets to a profound transformation? Today we embark on a journey to uncover these powerful 12 universal laws, a journey that promises not just knowledge, but transformation. Imagine a world where everything is interconnected, where your thoughts, actions and feelings are not just your own, but a part of a grander scheme. This is not a fantasy. This is the realm of the law of divine oneness. This law is the foundational block of the universe, the thread that weaves our individual lives into the vast fabric of existence. The law of divine oneness is simple yet profound. Everything is connected. Our thoughts, actions and emotions are more than just private experiences. They are ripples in the vast ocean of the universe, touching lives and events in ways we can scarcely imagine. This law teaches us that we are not isolated beings, but integral parts of the larger whole. Let's delve deeper into this concept. Think of a time when a smile from a stranger lifted your spirits, or when a harsh word dampened your day. These moments are practical examples of the law of divine oneness in action. Your joy spreads joy, your pain spreads pain. Understanding this interconnectedness is the first step towards a life of harmony and balance. But how does this law affect our daily lives? It reminds us that every thought we harbor, every word we utter, and every action we take has significance. It tells us that we are not just passive observers in the universe, but active participants in its unfolding story. By aligning our thoughts and actions with the positive energy of the universe, we can create ripples of positivity and change. As we move through our day, let's carry with us this understanding of oneness. Let the realization that we are part of something greater than ourselves be a source of strength and inspiration. Let it guide our choices and actions, leading us to live in harmony not just with those around us, but with the universe itself. In the intricate dance of the universe, as we glide from the understanding of our interconnectedness under the law of divine oneness, we now step into the realm of the second universal law, the law of vibration. This law whispers a profound truth about the universe and our place within it, a truth that once understood changes everything. The law of vibration states that everything in the universe, from the smallest particle to the vastest galaxy, is in constant motion, vibrating at its own frequency. Just as a pebble creates ripples in a pond, everything you think, feel and do emits a unique vibrational frequency into the universe. This law invites us to see beyond the illusion of stillness and separateness, revealing a world alive with energy and motion. But what does this mean for you? It means that your thoughts, feelings and actions are not just internal experiences, but energetic vibrations that interact with the vibrations of the universe. Your positive thoughts emit high frequencies, while negative thoughts emit lower frequencies. Understanding this gives us a powerful tool to shape our lives and attract what we desire. Consider the feelings of love and joy. When you experience these emotions, you're vibrating at a high frequency, and the universe responds in kind. Similarly, when you're trapped in cycles of negative thoughts or feelings, you attract experiences that resonate with those lower frequencies. The key here is not to suppress or deny our feelings, but to be conscious of them and aim to elevate our vibrational state. Now let's explore how to apply this law in our daily lives. Begin by observing your thoughts and emotions. Ask yourself, what kind of energy am I sending out into the universe? Cultivate practices like meditation, gratitude and mindfulness to raise your vibration. Remember, it's not about perfection but progress. Even small shifts in your vibrational state can lead to significant changes in your life. As we journey through these laws, it's important to remember that each law builds upon the previous. The law of vibration works hand in hand with the law of divine oneness. Your vibration affects not only your life, but also contributes to the collective energy of the universe. 
By raising your vibration, you're not just transforming yourself, but you're also contributing to the positive energy of the world around you. Embarking further into our exploration of the universe's profound rhythms, we arrive at the doorstep of the third universal law, the law of action. This law serves as a vital bridge between our inner world of thoughts and vibrations and the outer world of manifestation and experience. The law of action teaches us that for us to manifest our dreams and aspirations, our actions must align with our thoughts and desires. It's a call to active participation in the tapestry of our lives. While the law of vibration sets the stage by aligning our energetic frequencies, the law of action propels us into motion, turning our potential into reality. Consider this. Dreams and intentions, no matter how potent, remain ethereal without the grounding force of action. It is through our actions that we give form and substance to our thoughts. The universe responds not just to our desires, but to the effort we put into realizing them. This law is about taking conscious steps towards our goals, understanding that each step, no matter how small, is a significant part of the journey. But how do we align our actions with our intentions? It starts with clarity. Be clear about what you desire to manifest in your life. Once the intention is set, break it down into achievable steps. These steps are your actions, the tangible expressions of your inner desires. Remember, the universe does not demand grand gestures. Even the smallest actions, when aligned with our intentions, can have a profound impact. Now let's explore the synergy of this law with the previous ones. The law of divine oneness reminds us that our actions affect not just us, but the collective whole. The law of vibration teaches us that our actions carry a vibrational frequency. Thus, when we act, we are not just moving towards our goals, but also sending out vibrations that affect the world around us. As we integrate the law of action into our lives, let it be a reminder that we are not mere spectators in the play of the universe. We are active participants, co-creators of our reality. Every action we take, no matter how insignificant it may seem, is a powerful statement of our intentions and desires. As we journey deeper into the mysteries of the universe, we arrive at a profound insight encapsulated in the fourth universal law, the law of correspondence. This law reveals a mirror-like relationship between the various planes of existence, the physical, mental, and spiritual. It asserts that the patterns and truths we observe in our external world are reflections of our inner world. The law of correspondence operates on the principle, as above, so below, as within, so without. This ancient adage suggests that our external circumstances are not random, but are directly related to our internal state. Our thoughts, beliefs and emotions are mirrored in our external experiences. This law teaches us that by changing our internal world, we can change our external reality. Consider for a moment the world around you. Everything from your relationships to your work environment is a reflection of your inner beliefs and feelings. A chaotic outer world often indicates internal turmoil, while a peaceful external environment suggests inner harmony. This law does not imply blame, but empowers us with the understanding that we have the power to change our circumstances by altering our internal state. How do we apply this law in our daily lives? It begins with introspection. Take time to reflect on your internal world. Are your thoughts predominantly positive or negative? Do your beliefs empower you or limit you? Understanding the nature of your internal world is the first step in creating a desired external reality. As we integrate the law of correspondence into our lives, let it serve as a compass, guiding us towards internal balance and harmony. By cultivating positive thoughts, nurturing empowering beliefs, and fostering a harmonious internal state, we can manifest a life that is in alignment with our highest aspirations. Now, we turn our attention to a particularly resonant strand, the Law of Attraction. This law brings a new dimension to our journey, one that highlights the magnetic power of our thoughts and feelings. Picture the Law of Attraction as a cosmic magnet. It operates on a simple yet profound principle, like attracts like. The thoughts and feelings we hold in our mind act as magnets, drawing to us experiences and circumstances that match our inner state. 
This law is not just a philosophical concept, it's a principle that can be observed and harnessed in our everyday lives. Let's dive into a day in the life, seen through the lens of the law of attraction. When you wake up in the morning with a positive outlook, anticipating good things, you set the stage for positive experiences to come your way. Conversely, starting the day with dread or negativity often leads to experiences that reinforce these feelings. It's like tuning into a radio frequency. You receive what you are tuned into. However, it's crucial to understand that the law of attraction is not a magic wand. It requires more than just positive thinking. It demands belief and emotion. Imagine desiring a new job. It's not enough to just think about it. You need to believe it's possible and feel the excitement of having it. This emotional energy acts as a powerful signal to the universe, aligning your desire with reality. The beauty of the law of attraction lies in its simplicity and power. It empowers us to become conscious creators of our lives. But it also teaches responsibility. Our thoughts and feelings are not just passing clouds in the sky of our mind. They are seeds that grow into the reality we experience. As we delve deeper into the intricate web of universal laws, we encounter a principle fundamental to the understanding of life's dynamics, the law of cause and effect. Often encapsulated in the phrase, as you sow, so shall you reap, this law reveals the inevitable link between our actions and their outcomes. Envision life as a vast interconnected network where every action, no matter how small, sets off a chain of reactions. This is the essence of the law of cause and effect. It teaches us that nothing happens by chance. Every event in our lives is a response to a previous action, thought or decision. This law brings a profound realization. We are architects of our destiny, sculpting our future with the choices we make today. Let's consider the everyday implications of this law. When you treat others with kindness, you plant seeds of goodwill that often return to you in unexpected ways. Alternatively, negative actions tend to breed negative consequences. This law doesn't operate in isolation, it works in conjunction with the other universal laws we've explored. Our thoughts and vibrations, law of vibration, combined with our actions, law of action, and the energy we attract, law of attraction, all play a role in the outcomes we experience in life. But the law of cause and effect is more than a cosmic justice system. It's a guide for conscious living. It encourages us to pause and consider the long-term effects of our actions. In a world that often emphasizes immediate gratification, this law reminds us to think about the seeds we are planting for our future. How can we apply this law in our daily lives? It starts with self-awareness. Reflect on your actions and their potential consequences. Are they aligned with the life you wish to create? This law also encourages us to take responsibility for our lives. Instead of seeing ourselves as victims of circumstance, we can choose to view ourselves as empowered creators, actively shaping our destiny with each decision we make. As we progress on our enlightening journey through the universal laws, we arrive at a principle that sheds light on the balance and fairness of life, the law of compensation. This law, often seen as the great balancer, ensures that for every action there is an equal or greater reaction, particularly in terms of rewards and blessings. The law of compensation can be likened to the scales of justice, providing a balance between what we give and what we receive. It's not just about monetary gain, it encompasses all forms of blessings, kindness and love. This law reassures us that the universe operates on a principle of fairness, even if it's not immediately apparent. To see this law in action, look no further than the acts of generosity and kindness you bestow upon others. These actions often return to you, sometimes from the most unexpected sources. It's like planting a seed of goodwill and watching as it grows and blossoms into something much larger than the initial act. The law of compensation operates on the principle of positive reciprocity. What you send out into the world comes back to you, often multiplied. However, it's important to understand that this law is not a transactional equation. The universe does not operate on a strict quid pro quo basis. Instead, it's about the intention and energy behind your actions. 
When you give with a genuine heart, without expectation of return, the universe often compensates you in wonderful and unexpected ways. This law intertwines beautifully with the previously discussed laws. It complements the law of cause and effect by ensuring that the consequences of our actions are fair and balanced. It works alongside the law of attraction as the energy of our generosity attracts positive experiences. It also resonates with the law of action, emphasizing that our deeds, particularly those aimed at helping others, are instrumental in shaping our lives. In our daily lives, we can embrace the law of compensation by practicing generosity and kindness. It's not limited to material giving. It includes offering time, attention, or even a listening ear. Every act of kindness is an investment into the bank of the universe, which pays dividends in many forms. Our exploration of the universal laws now brings us to a dynamic and transformative principle, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. This law reveals the fluid and ever-changing nature of energy and reality. It suggests that everything around us is in a constant state of flux, driven by the energy we emit through our thoughts, feelings and actions. The essence of the law of perpetual transmutation of energy is that energy is always moving and changing form. It teaches us that high vibrational energy will always seek to transmute lower vibrational energy. This means that positive, powerful energy has the potential to transform and elevate the energy around it. Imagine you're in a room with a group of people. Your own energy, whether positive or negative, doesn't just stay within you. It radiates out, influencing the environment and the people around you. This is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy in action. When you enter a space with a high level of positive energy, you have the power to lift the mood of the entire room. This law ties in closely with the law of vibration and the law of attraction. Your vibrational state dictates the kind of energy you're transmuting and in turn attracts similar energies. It's a powerful reminder that we're not just passive recipients of the energy that surrounds us. We are active participants, constantly influencing and being influenced by the energy we encounter. To apply this law in your daily life, start with self-awareness. Be conscious of your own energy and how it may be affecting others. Cultivate positive energy through practices like meditation, mindfulness and gratitude. Remember, even in challenging situations, you have the power to choose your energetic response. The law of perpetual transmutation of energy also encourages us to be agents of positive change. When faced with negativity, rather than being drawn into it, focus on maintaining a high vibration. Your positive energy can help shift the dynamic, transmuting negativity into something more uplifting. As we continue our exploration of the universal laws, we encounter the law of relativity. This insightful principle teaches us about the relative nature of our experiences and how our perspective shapes our reality. It reminds us that everything in life is neither inherently good nor bad, big nor small, easy nor difficult. These qualities only exist in comparison to something else. The law of relativity posits that each person's life experience is a mirror of their inner thoughts and beliefs. It highlights the importance of context and perspective. For instance, a challenge may seem insurmountable until it's compared to a greater obstacle, suddenly appearing manageable. This law encourages us to view our situations in relation to others' experiences, fostering empathy and understanding. Imagine two people facing the same difficulty. One sees it as a catastrophic setback, while the other views it as a minor hurdle. The situation is the same, but their perspectives, shaped by their personal experiences and beliefs, alter their reality. This is the law of relativity in action. This law seamlessly integrates with the previous laws we've explored. It works in tandem with the law of vibration, showing us how our perception influences our frequency. It aligns with the law of perpetual transmutation of energy, demonstrating how our perspective can transform the energy of our circumstances. It also resonates with the law of cause and effect, illustrating how our attitude can affect the outcomes of our actions. 
This law also teaches us the power of comparison as a tool for growth and gratitude. When we compare our situations not to belittle others or ourselves, but to gain perspective, we open ourselves to greater compassion and understanding. It helps us realize that what we perceive as a problem may actually be an opportunity in disguise. We now turn to the law of polarity. This principle serves as a lens through which the dual nature of the universe becomes clear. Everything exists in a state of duality, light and dark, hot and cold, positive and negative. The law of polarity teaches us that these opposites are merely different expressions of the same phenomenon. Imagine a mountain with two sides, one in the sun, the other in the shade. The sunny side represents warmth, light and visibility, while the shady side represents coolness, darkness and mystery. Both sides are integral to the mountain's existence. Similarly, in our lives, we experience a range of polarities, each offering its unique lessons and experiences. This law has profound implications in our daily lives. It suggests that when we encounter a negative situation, we have the power to find its opposite, the positive aspect. For instance, within every challenge lies an opportunity for growth. Understanding this can transform our approach to life's difficulties. The law of polarity complements the law of relativity by providing perspective. What may appear as negative in one context can be positive in another. It also aligns with the law of vibration as our perception of polarity can influence our vibrational state. Recognizing the dual nature of our experiences helps us maintain balance and harmony. Take a moment to reflect on a recent challenge. Now, try to identify the positive aspect of this situation. This exercise is not about denying the difficulty, but about recognizing that there is always another side to the coin. This realization can be incredibly liberating and empowering. Embracing the law of polarity means recognizing the completeness of our experiences. Just as a battery has both a positive and a negative pole, life encompasses a full spectrum of experiences, each necessary for our growth and understanding. Now we arrive at the law of rhythm. This law speaks to the cyclical nature of the universe and everything within it. Just as the tides ebb and flow, and the seasons change in a predictable pattern, so too do the circumstances and events in our lives follow a rhythmic pattern. This law asserts that everything operates in cycles. Life is a series of natural rhythms and patterns. There are times of growth and expansion, followed by periods of contraction and rest. Recognizing these rhythms in our lives can help us navigate through various phases with grace and understanding. Take a moment to reflect on your own life. You may notice periods where everything seemed to fall into place, followed by times where challenges seem to dominate. Just like day follows night, these cycles are natural and inevitable. The key is to ride these waves, knowing that after every low point, a high point will come. The law of rhythm encourages us to work with life's natural rhythms rather than against them. When we are in a phase of growth and expansion, we can take advantage of this energy to pursue our goals. Similarly, during quieter times, we can use the opportunity to rest and rejuvenate. This law complements the law of polarity by reminding us that after every negative phase, a positive phase is bound to come. It also resonates with the law of vibration, as our internal rhythm affects our vibrational frequency. During difficult periods, remember that these are just part of life's rhythm. Instead of resisting, learn to flow with these cycles. This doesn't mean being passive, it means being aware and adaptable, understanding that these phases are temporary. This law teaches us that life is not a static experience, but a dynamic journey marked by cycles and rhythms. Embracing this concept can lead to a more harmonious and balanced life, where we move with the natural flow of events. Our exploration of the 12 universal laws draws to a close with a profound principle that encapsulates the essence of all the laws we've uncovered, the law of gender. The law of gender reveals that everything in the universe has both a masculine and a feminine aspect. This law is not limited to gender as we understand it in human terms, but extends to the fundamental polarity that exists in all of creation. 
It's about balance, harmony, and the dance between opposing forces. In the context of this law, the masculine aspect represents qualities such as strength, action, and logic, while the feminine embodies qualities like intuition, receptivity, and creativity. Both are essential, and neither is superior to the other. Life is a constant interplay between these energies, and balance is the key. This law encourages us to recognize and honor the masculine and feminine aspects within ourselves and the world around us. It's a reminder that embracing both our assertive and nurturing qualities leads to a more holistic and fulfilling existence. The law of gender beautifully encapsulates the essence of all the previous laws we've explored. It mirrors the law of polarity, the law of correspondence, and the law of rhythm in its recognition of balance and cycles. It aligns with the law of divine oneness, highlighting the interconnectedness of all things. Embracing the law of gender is an invitation to harmonize the different aspects of our being. It's about recognizing that we all possess both masculine and feminine qualities, and that by integrating these aspects, we can lead more balanced and authentic lives. As we conclude our journey through the universal laws, let us reflect on the wisdom they offer. These laws provide a roadmap for living in harmony with the universe, offering insights into the profound rhythms that govern our lives. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.